If you watched our recent review of Dell's ultra short throw laser projector, the S718QL, known affectionately around the office as Kylo Ren, then you already know that it's a badass 4K HDR projector with insane brightness that works just about anywhere. But what you didn't know is that we actually have not one, not even two, but three Kylo Rens. And today we're gonna do something big with them. Something big and wide. Okay, so the first thing we need, <clears throat> aside from projectors, is a rig powerful enough to run three 4K displays in games at once. So what we're using is three Quadro P5000 GPUs. Then we needed a platform that could not only support all three of these Quadros, but that would also have space for an additional expansion card. So we're using an X99 EWS from ASUS, a Core i7 6900K eight core processor with 128 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, because why not? And then, because our goal isn't to display the same image from three projectors, no, no, we wanna make one big image, we need an NVIDIA SYNC 2 expansion card. This is the same one from our 16K gaming build, which you can check out right over there. Powering the whole thing, we've got a Platimax DF Platinum 1200 watt power supply with sleeved cables right out of the box. We've got an Equalence tempered glass case, although the glass is off right now so I can point at all this stuff, with high density soundproofing insulation in the front, top, and side. We're using a Lickmax 2 240 millimeter AIO cooler that can handle up to a 350 watt processor. And we're using Lipa Chopper Advanced LED fans all courtesy of Enermax, who get a big shout out for sponsoring this video. So then, we've got three projectors. We've got a PC to power them. Now's the big reveal. We're going on a little field trip outside where we're gonna be creating one gigantic image on the side of our neighbor's building. Mm. Hey, I think I solved the network problem. Uh, we had a network cable running over to the laser cutter. Uh, so I threw a switch here. I think, we're, I think we're actually pretty close to the 100 meter limit though for ethernet on that subject. I think we've got every extension cord in the entire building daisy chained together to get enough power out here because we're running three 5,000 lumen projectors. Projectures, it's cold, sorry, projectors. So yeah, they're laser, they're efficient, but still. So there are a number of challenges that we have to address before we're gonna be able to game on this. Number one is that all these projectors need to be level off the ground. So the innovative strategy that we've come up with is a combination of these rocks, these rubber pins, <laughs> And then we got some printer paper to kind of do the fine adjustments at the end. Problem number two that we have to solve is that they all have to be exactly the same distance away from the wall. Although what's cool is that they don't have to be the same distance away from each other because the Quadro Sync card in our configuration here allows us to fine tune NVIDIA's mosaic settings on a pixel by pixel basis so that we can get them to butt up right against each other. Problem number three is that each one of them has to be keystoned because we can make all the pixel by pixel adjustments in the world that we want, but ultimately, if you have some overlap at the top and a gap at the bottom, the mouse movements are gonna be really unnatural. Problem number four is that our office is right next to a train. Obviously, we couldn't do this inside because we wanted to project, you know, like a freaking 80 inch diagonal screen. I mean 80 foot, 80 foot, sorry. Imperial's not my strong point. Okay, I'm not quite sure how you intended these rugs, James. One per beanbag, maybe. One per beanbag? <laughs> Do you want me to help you um, help make a spot in it for you? Right here. Okay. <laughs> okay, go over here. Okay, hold on. Let me put at least two or three. Ah. Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty heavy. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so we've got them good enough because we're not going to stay out here all night. Um, now it's time to make some fine adjustments. So with monitors, you use bezel correction to make it so that when something passes over a bezel, you don't end up with it misaligned like this. But now we want overlap. I feel like I'm giving a presentation or something. So now we're just gonna, you know, we'll click the mouse over there, you know. And... It took a lot of tweaking, but once we got it working, it was absolutely freaking sick. Like James, yeah. James, you are actually like 40 feet from the start menu. Right here, here you go bud. Guide me in. <laughs> <laughs> try to try to get the chicken. <laughs> that is sick. Go after the chicken, little man. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> One of the things we learned is that just because it's awesome doesn't mean that it is actually usable. No, then now there's trees in the way. <laughs> yeah. We did not think this through. <laughs> Clearly some games operate better in 48 by nine aspect ratio than others do. Oh, and your weapon selection you lost, like, is all the way over there. HP on the jump. Oh, look at the ammo I have. How much ammo do I have? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. quality. Is this resolution? Uh, well, maybe. I don't know what any of these are. Can you see something <laughs> that looks like system? So it turns out that just because you're using three $2,500 graphics cards, that doesn't mean that you can actually game at 60 FPS. Three times 4K is a lot of pixels. You know how GTA tells you how much video memory you're gonna need for the settings you pick? It wanted 14 gigs. So thanks for watching guys. A huge shout out to Dell and Enermax for allowing us to uh, come out here in the middle of the night in the cold and have an utterly unique, if not particularly, um, advantageous gaming experience. If you guys just like this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured in the links in the video description. While you're down there, you can check out our merch store, which has, you know what, nope, I'm just, I'm just not gonna do that right now. Uh, cool shirts like the one on underneath my sweater, and also a link to our community forum, which you should totally join.